Before we move on, let me tell you something about the two kinds of questions on this test. There are questions about executing code and questions about writing code. All things considered, executing code is pretty simple. Well, writing code is just not. It's not pretty simple. What I'm saying is that these upcoming questions are probably fundamentally more difficult than the ones that we've just done. So if you aren't satisfied with how well you've been doing on these tests, investing more time on what would Python print and the environment diagram type questions will probably give you a much better return than focusing on these upcoming questions. Anyway, sometimes, especially on the final, you're going to be tested on how well you can understand and work with a data type that you haven't seen before. This is the focus of question four, where they tell you how a list can describe a binary tree of integers. Click here for a review of binary trees. A list is another way of describing a binary tree, and if you already know how to read it, click here to jump straight into the question. All elements of the list are going to be a root, regardless if they're roots of trees or leaves. But then which index of the list denotes the branches? More specifically, the root of the branches. Well, the root of the left branch of element i is element 2 times i plus 1, and the root of the right branch is 2 times i plus 2. Especially under the pressure of the final, it might be really confusing, especially with the examples they give us. So let's look at, a, at an example. The zeroth element is the root. The root of the left branch of the ith element is the 2 times i plus 1th element, and the root of the right branch of the ith element is the 2 times i plus 2th element. The root of this tree is the zeroth element, 17. The root of the left branch is going to be the 2 times 0 plus 1th element of the list, 13. And the root of the right is going to be the 2 times 0 plus 2th element of the list, 21. And then, the left branch of this subtree, well, the root is going to be the 2 times 2 plus 1th element of the list, none. And the root of the right branch is going to be the 2 times 2 plus 2th element of the list, 65. Now, you should have a good understanding about how this kind of data structure works. Be sure you have a firm understanding of this because we're going to be talking about the logic of these solutions rather than any misconceptions you might have about these data types.